guys. So are you ready for another itty bitty little teeny tiny Bath and Body Works haul? Literally, it's only six things. Only because they had like a $5 fine fragrance mist sale. So I got a few. Um, mostly because the one I really, really wanted is always freaking sold out at semi-annual sale time, so I couldn't justify just buying the one. But also, knowing that the semi-annual sale is only a couple months away, I didn't want to go totally apeshit nuts either, knowing darn well that the majority of these will probably still be available then for cheaper than they were on that day. But at the same time, I mean, there is always that risk that they may be sold out or won't be available anymore. And if that's the case, then, you know, if I had wanted them badly enough, I would have bought them that day so as to not take the risk. But frankly, it's like, you know, I'll play the odds if they're sold out there and I feel that strongly about them. I can always hit up eBay. That's always an option. Yeah, it won't be as cheap, but I mean, I, I don't see it being a problem. So I only bought a few, so I will show you what I got. So the one that was the had to have it, the whole reason I made the purchase at all, this guy right here, Wild Honeysuckle. This is one of my all-time favorite Bath & Body Works scents. It's been retired, but they tend to bring it back every so often, and I, well actually, I was gonna say I always miss it by this much, but um, given that there were several years, I couldn't wear the Fine Fragrance Mints at Mints? mists at all because of my asthma and because of the chemical sensitivity issues. Every time it would roll around and be available, I missed out on it because I was like, well, what's the point in buying it if I can't use it? So I would just sadly look at it and be like, I wish I could use it. I guess I'll buy something else in that scent, but I wish I could buy that. I'm finally at a point where the grand majority of them I can wear again. There's still some, they're a little iffy, but most I can wear. Thankfully, I already tested it. We are good to go with this one. So, just saying. But I absolutely adore this one. Always have, always will. This is one of only a few scents ever from Bath & Body Works that I've bought basically every product they ever released in this scent, except for like the wallflower. I don't do the wallflowers. They are too much for me. Uh, not too much financially, but they're, they're just too strong. My lungs can't handle them. It's like the, um, the room sprays. I bought a few of those back in the day. And yeah, they just freaking kill my lungs. Even when my sister's friend was staying here um, a couple weeks ago, I made the awful mistake of digging one of those out and just one itty bitty little spritz of that in the room she was gonna be staying in so it'd smell nice for her. Oh my god, I think my lungs are still flared up from like two weeks ago, one tiny spray. My lungs cannot do aerosols anymore. Just a fact of life. But it can do these, so at least there's that. So I have this again for the first time in many years. I had this a long time ago, obviously in different packaging, and adored it. I had it in the body gel. I had it in the triple moisture body cream. I had it in the body lotion. I've had it in the soaps, like all three different varieties of the soaps. I've had it in the hand cream. I've had it in... I don't think they ever made a pocket back of it, so I don't think I had that. I don't think they ever did a candle of this. They did a regular honeysuckle, but it wasn't wild honeysuckle, so it wasn't quite the same thing. Similar. Not quite it. But, um, but yeah, um, basically everything that they did make it in, though, sands for the wallflower, I got. I don't currently still have them. I just have this and I think one, maybe two soaps left of it. And that is sadly it. But, um, if I can find them selling the lotions again cheaply, I'm gonna pounce on that. So that was the first thing, that was the whole reason I put in the order. The other retired scent that I got, which I've actually never owned before, I'm really stoked to have, is Cashmere Glow. Because this came out around the time I started having problems and couldn't use it, and the description that they gave with the notes on the website always sounded like something I'd friggin' adore, but just couldn't use. And it would always be sold out and like all the other products that would be in this scent. So I just always missed out on it. So now I have it. Admittedly, I haven't tried it yet. These are all getting individual reviews like I did for the Pink Lily and Bamboo. Um, so hang in there for those. That's why I'm not spraying them right now because while I can handle wearing them again, 
I can't handle spraying more than one at a time or my lungs get very, very angry very, very quickly. So, you know, that's why they get individual reviews. So, if you want somebody who can do them all back to back, I'm unfortunately not your girl just because my body can't handle it. So then this is a brand new one, and honestly, I was torn just between the packaging and the name and the description. I was like, I have to. I'm not waiting for a semi-annual sale because my luck will either not be there or it'll be sold out. But this is called Happy Vibes. The fragrance notes are pink citrus, crisp pear, fresh honeysuckle, sheer vetiver, and dewy orchid. And then they describe it slightly differently over here. We'd start every day with happy vibes. Enjoy this energizing pink, <laughs> this energizing blend of pink citrus, crisp pear, and fresh honeysuckle. Now, this, when I put it on this morning, oh my god, it took me back to seventh grade in wearing Calgon um, body mists. I had this little four pack of them back in the 90s in like seventh grade that my aunt got me and pretty much all through high school I abused those I used the crap out of them but the pink one in it wish I could remember what it was smelled almost identical to this and originally I thought it was the blue one but then I actually have the big bottle still to this day of the blue one and I checked I was like no it's not that one it's similar I thought about it closed my eyes smelled it again I was like no nah. it's the pink one which might have been something like Wild Orchid or something along those lines. I believe Orchid was in, the was in the name, and it was like baby pink in color. I tried to go on eBay just to see if anybody had that set listed, and while they do have a four-pack listed in very similar packaging, not quite the same set. Had two of the same scents in it, but the other two were different. So I guess we'll never know for sure what that scent was actually called that smelled basically identical to this, but this just took me back to another place in time. I was like, oh my god, I cannot believe this. This, it's like an identical clone. So if any of you were Calgon fans back in the day and know what I'm talking about, it smells just like it. So if you were a fan of it, you'll like this. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out what my dad's bitching about now. I don't know. Anyway, so... Then the other three are also brand new. This one is Wild Rose and Apple. I haven't tried this one yet. Steam Distilled Natural Rose Oil. I'm very intrigued. It doesn't list any scent notes or anything, so I may have to go to the website for those. But isn't the packaging gorgeous? I love it. I love roses. I love apples. What is not to love here, you know? So I got that one. And then also from the same set, I got chamomile and honey, um, which could be iffy because some chamomiles are good, other ones are disgusting. So, I mean, if it's bad, I could always get it off my hands on eBay if I needed to. But I mean, I, I'm assuming it'll be a good one because I've really not had too many gross things from Bath and Body Works, so I'm pretty confident it will be good. And finally, the last thing that I got in this haul, also from that collection, is pink magnolia so it looks very similar to the rose one it's side by side one's a little bit lighter pink than the other uh they're very florally this one's got butterflies instead of dragonflies it's just really cute i love magnolias uh, magnolia is actually like the base note in um hello beautiful which is one of my favorite scents currently anyway from map and body Works. so i figured another magnolia scent can't hurt i, I always love those so that is all I got. Like I said, it's just a little itty bitty haul today. Um, I'm kind of trying to save my pennies for the semi-annual sale haul that's coming in June. So, you know, when June rolls around, you know I will go apeshit and buy a crap ton of things then, because I always do. Sometimes in more than one order. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. For now, I've just, when I have splurged, I've kept it light. I've kept it light to just small things like this when there's been a good sale on. When it's just like a mediocre one, it's like, no, I'm holding out. I know they're going to do better. So, and again, I don't have the whole like fear of missing out thing with them because I've learned that I can always just go to eBay to get the things if by some chance I miss out on something that I really had my heart set on. Even if I have to pay a little more doing it that way, 
you don't have to miss out, therefore I don't feel as inclined to have to be on top of the website all the time, like I used to back in the day, so, you know. Anyways, that is it for me for this one, so as usual, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Out of these six cents, which one is your favorite? Or if you've never tried any of these, which one do you think would be your favorite? Let me know down below, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. Make sure you follow my social media accounts, they're all listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So, anyway guys, till next time, bye bye